While former U of A head football coach Rich Rodriguez was fired almost 15 months ago amid claims of sexual harassment from a former assistant. The university side of the firing has been well documented. We haven't heard much from Rodriguez, but he recently spoke with News 4 Tucson investigator Matthew Schwartz in a story you'll see only on 4. It certainly still hurts. Rich Rodriguez says he didn't deserve to be fired as UA's head football coach, especially in the way he was told. Are you angry about how it ended? Sure. Rodriguez says the university fired him on January 2nd, 2018 via email. I was home with the family and so all of us were just floored with it and you know the disappointed not just because we had thought we had a great team coming back but just um, the way it all went down was was certainly saddened and disappointed and Rich Rod as he's known says after six seasons the UA should have told him in person not email. That's certainly that's not customary I think and on any level but particularly at, at, at this level and, and it was a shock you know you know the, the, the type of disappointment and the shock that happens when you when you're you know get called from a reporter first and then uh, then you try to get a hold of somebody and then they say, well, check your email and then you look at your email. And in what he said was his now, first sit down interview season. since getting oh, fired. Point. Rodriguez there covered a course, wide range of, of course, issues and with the News 4 one. Tucson okay, investigators. Uh, his dismissal um, came after his administrative assistant filed a seven and a half million dollar notice of claim. That's a precursor to a lawsuit alleging, among other things, that Rodriguez ran a hostile workplace and sexually harassed harassed her. The law firm hired by UA to look into the claims concluded it could not substantiate them. However, UA it's President long, Robert uh, Robbins uh, and Athletic Director Dave that, Heakey that said they became aware of information which caused them to be concerned with the direction and climate of the football program. Rodriguez wants the law firm's report made public, but the UA has declined to release it. Are you frustrated at the way things ended here? Sure. It was very frustrating because we were anxiously waiting for it to be finished. And then when it got finished and cleared us, we were like, okay, gosh, we got, you know, glad we got that over with, yet we still uh, were let go. And, you know, those, I think anybody would be disappointed. A UA spokesman said the university typically does not release the reports on internal inquiries in order to protect witnesses and other individuals. Rodriguez did acknowledge that he had an extramarital affair with a woman not affiliated with the U of A. The 55-year-old West Virginia native apologized to his wife and two children, but denied harassing his former assistant, calling her demands for a multi-million dollar settlement extortion. He said he voluntarily took a lie detector test and passed. After the investigation came through and yet you still, you know, got let go, um, and we have not been able to say much about it and, and still can't to some degree. But at the same time, uh, you know, you, I can't sit here and tell you that there hasn't been a sense of frustration with this whole legal process and uh, way where sometimes I feel there's a false narrative that uh, could be corrected uh, easier had this information been able to be made, made public. Rodriguez, whose daughter works at News 4 Tucson, said the investigation not being made public created a cloud over him. Well, I know my family and I felt a great sense of frustration um, because we thought there was a false narrative out there that, that uh, could have been at least alleviated a little bit or corrected somewhat. Rodriguez wants it to be known that after he was fired, when potential new employers called the UA to ask about him, the powers that be did not criticize him. Well, I want to, you know, thank President Robbins and 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 I think they even uh, I think Dave Hickey got called too, and and Dave sent some positive words. Rodriguez's salary was about two and a half million dollars, and he received a six and a quarter million dollar payout. His contract was to run until 2020, so he could have coached his son, Rhett, a UA sophomore quarterback, until he graduated. I'd love to have been able to be the head coach to, uh, for my son. Rodriguez was hired by the University of Mississippi last December as their offensive coordinator. Tonight at 10, he talks about his regrets 
while at the U of A and has a message he wants to send to the city of Tucson and the UA community. Investigating for you, Matthew Schwartz, News 4 Tucson.